first we're gonna cross over from Vermont into Quebec. Uh, we were directions in at Ile d'Orléans, it's like the island of Orleans. And then um, I think we're gonna go wine tasting there. So yeah, there's some really I'm nice excited wineries. for that. I'm not really sure what our plan is for tonight. We're definitely gonna check in our hotel probably around four and then go out for some dinner. We're all really excited for Canada because I've never been outside of the country before, so I'm really excited. This will definitely be something totally new for me. We started this trip at like six, so we're stocked up on coffee right now. <laughs> the foliage is a lot more prominent in the north. It is so nice up here. bridge that we're going to go on to get to the island. Pretty nice outside. I think it's really warm out today. Yeah, it's pretty warm, yeah. They weren't doing any wine tasting, so we just got a bottle and we're just enjoying it out here. This is our current view. I think it's really nice just to sit out here and enjoy some wine after the six hour drive. <laughs> we still have a lot of time until our hotel check in, so I think we're gonna just explore the island some more and go to another place. We're not really sure what we want from here yet, so we kind of just got like a little tasting of them. We've just been trying the different wines. Do you want to do number four? The number four is 19.5%. This one smells really nice. That one is really good. Really good. Got the gin left. 40%. Yeah, it's gonna be like the vodka. <laughs> we ended up just getting a small bottle just because it is 19.5%. Again, the view here is stunning. It says it has notes of pear and vanilla. I definitely taste that, yeah. Yeah, it, it's really, it's, it's, it's really good. Because it tastes better like iced. You don't yeah. normally drink red wine like iced. I would so. say it's definitely better chill as well. So it's about 6 p.m. and we have already checked into our hotel room. I don't know, it's really nice outside. It's not too hot, not too cold, and we're, I think we're just kind of looking for food, looking for things to do, but we're not really in any kind of rush. The streets right now are pretty dead, so I think a lot of businesses close pretty early.
are not getting the best luck right now with the food. It's like 7 p.m. and a lot of places are closed, but we're still looking and we still have a lot of hope. Jonathan ordered a margarita pizza and then I ordered um, a salmon linguine and then I also ordered an espresso martini. We are so thirsty. Right as we sat down, we drank the entire thing of water. <laughs> We just got finished with dinner and I thought it was really good um, but I think we're just gonna head back to the hotel now and yeah, call it a night. night. I'll give y'all a little tour of our hotel room and here is the bathroom. We have like a little kitchen set up which I think is really nice and then this is pretty much everything and then this is our view. Good morning, this is Quebec, day two. We just checked out of our hotel and we woke up pretty late. Um, it is almost noon, so we're gonna go try to find something to eat. Yeah. The little square that we're currently in heavily reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, so I am living for it. We just arrived to our lunch restaurant. I got an escargot stew and then a salmon, and I also got a sangria to drink. Cheers! So good. So, of course, I had to order some escargot. I love escargot. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but you can't say anything bad about it until you try it. Yeah. Really, you have to videotape me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a snail. <laughs> How is it? All right. This is say, the like meat in it, and then we got a side of bread. It reminds me like clam. We just finished lunch. Um, now we're gonna go up by the chateau. The weather here right now is really nice. It's, I would say it's pretty perfect for the time we're here. We are now at the Chateau Frontenac during the daytime. As you can see, this place is literally massive. It is a hotel and I looked it up and you can stay here for about, I believe $400 a night. And I'm Something not really, like that, yeah. and that's in Canadian dollars too. So it'll be less in the US. I got a sweatshirt. <laughs> it says Quebec on it.
obviously we had to get gelato to end our trip so I just got coffee and a waffle cone and Jonathan got yeah, raspberry. raspberry. And that pretty much concludes our Quebec trip. I've never been out of the country before so this was definitely an experience. I will say I did expect more people to speak French. It was nice that more people spoke English but Jonathan was looking forward to using his French. <laughs> I am Canadian, but please don't ask me to speak French because, yeah. 